today we will discuss the concept of on size error in uh, mainframe in cobol program what is on size error as you know that whenever we are doing some arithmetic operation on any uh, any two or more than two variables and we are um, evaluating one output field from that okay arithmetic operation may be subtraction addition <laughs> division multiplication anything and after that when the final value comes up when the final value is evaluated that time the length that you have defined for the output variable if it does not match with the length what you have provided okay that means the evaluated length of this variable output variable if it does not match with the length which you have de uh, de uh, defined with then there will be data trun truncation so data truncation how does it happen in numeric generally in numeric data truncation will happen from the left side because whatever extra digits that are coming so it will come on the right hand side obviously so if the field uh, has a length of two but if you are trying to insert one two three value 123 then the outcome will become 23 from the left hand side it will be truncated so left truncated so in that case it may be an issue because if these are financial fields okay just imagine these are financial fields some amount or something and you are trying to evaluate one output field out of these variables and this output field has some truncated value not the original one now what we generally do is these values whatever we are generating from our COBOL programs we either store them in a table or send out in some files to some downstream applications or some to some uh, clients or someone so what will happen is whatever data you send out to your downstream application they will take those files and input as input and they will run their daily process run their application so whatever wrong value you are, you are sending with that wrong value only they will uh, generate uh, they will process their uh, daily process and they will probably they will store also in their databases probably they will again evaluate something they will send out some other report to some other downstream application of theirs so the whole chain will become wrong that time because of our own mistake we have to effort such a big thing where we are storing either wrong values or we are also sending out wrong values to downstream they are also taking those values they are running their daily process they are also supposed storing or sending out those wrong values only to downstream like this there will be a big issue because these are financial fields okay now how to <clears throat> define which what length of this output field you have to give now just imagine just imagine that you have three variables I, I am giving you a shortcut to find out the total length so imagine you have three variables variable one as a variable a variable b variable c now the value of uh, the length of variable a is two the length of variable b is two but the value i have defined here is 90 and 10 just ignore about these values i have simply written now as per your cobol logic you will add these two variables a and b and you will evaluate the value of c now what maximum value can this c have you have to understand that what maximum value can this c have the length of a is two so what is the maximum value that you can pass to a two uh, length variable 99 you cannot pass more than 99 if you pass 100 it will be truncated to 00, zero. so 99 is the maximum value which you can pass to a, a variable with two length similarly for b also it will be 99 so since we will add in this example so after adding 99 plus 99 it will become 198 so 198 has length 3 so we have to define this output field as 3 this is a shortcut if you have to evaluate now if in your program the logic is such as you have to multiply a and b then only you have to evaluate c okay you have to multiply you have to multiply a and b and then you have to evaluate c now <coughs> now when you multiply a and b 
so the maximum value of a can have 99 maximum value of b will be 99 so if you multiply 99 with 99 the out outcome will become i think 9801 okay it will become 9801 which has a length 4 then you have to define c as 4 that time because it will multiply these two variables and it will generate one output value. So these are shortcuts, what I think. But if in case you are not sure what value it will pass, it will give, uh, it will come from input here. I have taken some working storage variables and I'm trying to show you this example. In, in your projects, maybe as per your requirements, you will have some, you will never have this kind of input variable values where the value is, uh, directly written in working storage section. You'll never have that. You will either get those values from files or from somewhere else, from table or somewhere. It will be passed from JCL, something. Anything may happen. So just imagine these input values are coming from file where in input file you have two financial fields. Okay, now for each and every record, there is a calculation of C. So first what I'm doing is, in procedure division, I have initialized C because I have to evaluate the value of C what initialize will do is initialize will remove any unwanted or junk characters if there are present in this variable any junk character or unwanted character it will remove it from c and it will make this value c clean this initialization concept is very much important in mainframe because if we don't initialize sometimes while computing or moving whatever value you want to move to c variable may not work because you have not initialized it only okay that is why initialize is very very important now after initializing i am using compute compute c equal to a plus b c equal to a plus b that means evaluate the value of c by adding a and b so what will be the output 90 plus 10 it will be 100 the value of c will be 100 now if you provide the length of cs3 as i have shown you earlier that always take the maximum value of these variables as per the length and whatever operation you are doing in this program just do that and find out the maximum value this c variable can have maximum length so suppose you have not done that and you have uh, defined your variable as 2 then what will happen is after adding a plus b the value is becoming 100 okay now the length of variable c is defined as 2 so when you move 100 to a 2 length variable this one will be truncated value will be 0 0 okay so uh, just imagine you have not written all these statements on size error you display you you haven't written any of this you are just computing it and suppose you are writing it to some output file or you are storing in database so while you write into the output file it will zero zero will be written while you store this value into table zero zero will be stored so it is wrong in output file if you are sending zero zero this cannot be a financial field and also it is truncated and when the downstream application accepts this value they will run their process they will probably send it to some other downstream or they may load in the table so there will be a huge mistake there will be a huge escalation or something so whenever you have any arithmetic operation like addition division multiplication subtraction that time we always have to use this on size error thing so on size error is a function in mainframe in COBOL where if after doing this arithmetic operation this is impacting the size of this variable c based on whatever is defined here if it is impacting if it is not if it is greater than that i mean to say c has been defined as 9 of 2 but after adding a and b if it is becoming more than this length 2 this value of c is becoming more than the length 2 then it will come under on size error so by the name only you should understand on size error that means the size of c if there is any size error so the size of c means the length of c is 2 if there is any size error after adding a and b so error will always mean it is it is more than this value value 2 it if it is less than this 2 length 
if it is one digit then it is fine but if whenever it crosses this length two that means it's a three digit value that time this on size error will occur it will come under this display data truncation in c so i have written data truncation in c for a the value of a for b the value of b so i have displayed the input values so that we can easily find out for which input values this error is coming okay <coughs> okay it was already saved i don't have to save it again so <coughs> Have you understood this program? So I am adding a plus a and b. So it is becoming 100. So there is a size error. So whenever there is a size error, it will go and display. After on size error, whatever you want to display will be displayed. So let's see how it works. So first of all, let me compile this program. So for compilation, I have to write this. It is already written actually. So this is a compiler where we have inside this proc, we have that. Uh, compilation steps IGYCRCTL and this link edit steps are there. So I will submit this JCL. Okay, max is 4 so it is successfully compiled. Now I will go to the execution JCL and I will see the program name is correct. Load lib is, is also there so I will submit it. So if I submit max is 0 now I'll go to <clears throat> spool. So if I go here, see in sysout, I will get this error. Data truncation in C for A, the value of A 90, for B, the value of B is 10. So this is how you will get the errors that for this input value of 90 and 10, this combination, there is, an, there is a size error. Why do I have to give A and B here? Because you have to find out for which input values this error is coming. As I said, this may come from, uh, this input data will come from files, suppose. So in file, in each record, you have different, different values of A and B. In each record, you have A also, B also, and we'll have different, different values. Now, whenever there is any size error, and you just display data truncation in C, you don't display any value of A and B, then how will you understand for which record this on size error is coming? Your motive is to find out for which input value this error is coming so that you can rectify it or you can report it, whatever it, whatever it is. That is why we have to display the value of input fields A and B so that it is easy for us to find out. Okay, so this is how when the size crosses this permitted size that you have defined it with, then this error will come. Now, let me define C with 9 of 3. This permitted length only. So 9 plus 10 will be 100. So I have defined it as uh, this 100 only. Let me come in edit mode. So that was 9 of 3 I have defined. So now after adding 90 and 10, it will become 100 and the value that I have provided is 3 the length so it is perfect so there should not be any size error so let us check <clears throat> how it works so <clears throat> so I can compile this program I have to compile it because I have changed something so whenever the first time you write the program you compile it once after that you can execute it as many times as you want 